गुड मॉर्निंग सर या गुड मॉर्निंग मैं नो योर गुड नेम माय नेम इज अच्युत राव या अच्युत कैन आई हैव योर रिज्यूमे या अच्युत बिफोर मूविंग टू द टेक्निकल सो क्विकली इंट्रोड्यूस योरसेल्फ माय नेम माय सेल्फ मोटा अच्युत राव आई एम फ्रॉम चेटपल्ली फेमस फॉर कोंडी आई हैव अ ग्रेजुएट फ्रॉम बीएससी एट ग्रेट मैन द डिग्री कॉलेज विद स्पेशलाइजेशन ऑफ केमिस्ट्री एंड ऑल माय स्किल्स इज इंक्लूडेड विद पीजीडीसीए and uh, my project name is professional uh, management skills in my role is production department and my face oriented is citrine software developer and uh, like coming to the my hobbies uh, like things my uh, uh, listening music play cricket and uh, coming to the my family my my father name is aparo he is a daily uh, daily lover and uh, my mother name is raju she is a homemaker and my strength is uh, my father is a hard working person he rapping to me and uh, thanks for giving me this opportunity yeah okay so you are technically good with technology testing yeah okay so in manual or not manual and automation yeah okay so that's good so actually this role is for purely manual okay so i going with the basics of manual testing questions okay so what you understand in beta test beta test checking the application by the client in own environment is called beta testing half of beta testing are finding the defect and sent back to the developers yeah okay so in we in which level we are doing this beta testing beta testing half of testing beta testing uh, like in which level like we have a four levels right so which level we are doing this one user acceptance it is user acceptance yeah okay so have you ever that white box testing the combination of uh, uh, it unit testing and uh, integration testing is called white box testing coming to the unit testing it is a first level of uh, testing and uh, it's done by the developers and uh, when the developer software coding single component uh, properly or not is called unit testing coming to coming to the integration testing and uh, integration means adding it is a second level of testing and uh, it is a second level of testing and uh, Uh, it's done by the developers and uh, one modular to another modular the data communication between the two modulars so it can done into two approaches so one is incremental and another one is non incremental incremental can be divided into two types uh, three types uh, top down bottom up and uh, hybrid or sandwich yeah okay so the best part is the combination of unit and integration is known as white box, white box. and it was done by and white box follows as a four coverages so sanity coverages looping path syntax syntax coverage yeah okay fine so what you understand in black box testing the combination of system testing and uh, user acceptance <coughs> testing is called black box testing okay. system testing are uh, divided into two types functional and non functional functional can be divided into nine types smoke post to need to retest to retest to test to and to end to database to exam to test to adopt testing yeah okay. functional testing are uh, Seven types. Non-functional. Non-functional. <coughs> Graphical user interface, interface and uh, usability, compatibility, security, performance, recovery and installation. Okay, yeah, that's good. And so, what is test plan document? After analyzing team will gather and uh, planning for the test for complete. Uh, they will have both the scope and uh, roles and responsibilities of duration and uh, tell uh, team selection. Tool selection or something etc. Yeah okay. So exactly in which phase of STLC the test plan document will follow? Which phase will follow? In STLC, in which phase this test document will prepare? Like uh, uh, okay, can you give the phases name of STLC? Like requirement gathering. Requirement analysis. gathering, analyzing and planning and uh, uh, coding. Uh-huh. I am asking about the STLC. So in STLC, test analysis and test planning phase, we are going to prepare this test plan document. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Fine. So what is a test scenario? Test scenario. <coughs> it is a single line description. Okay. It defines uh, what to test in the application. It's called test scenario. Okay. Can you give what is test case? Mm, it is a multiple ways of. Uh, multiple ways of test uh, we define how to test in this test scenario yeah okay so test case fine we have a, some design techniques uh, you are aware about them 
design techniques. Inside the design techniques, we have a BVA and ECP. ECP, BVA, ECP. Okay, so what is the BVA and ECP? The full name of ECP is uh, equivalent class partition. Checking the checking the input field. Okay. Dividing the dividing the uh, varied and invariant classes uh, according to the requirement. Okay. And uh, coming to the BVP boundary value analysis and uh, check, checking the application uh, uh, range field. BVA means range field. Yeah, it, it dividing the input and uh, valid and invalid class. Okay, BVA, can you give the formulas, valid formulas and invalid formula? Like minimum, maximum, minimum, maximum, average, minimum plus one ranges, and, yes. and minimum minus one and maximum plus, plus one, one. invalid ranges. Okay, so can you explain the state transaction technique? Every application has a different states. The state navigation from one state to another state is called state transaction. Okay, yes. so you can visualize this. So how the uh, like requirement behaves in valid attempt and the invalid attempt. Yes. Okay. <coughs> okay. So um, can you explain that the decision making table? Decision table. It is a technique. Here. Okay. Checking the application of how many possibility cases to test in the scenario is known as a uh, cases effective table or another name is cases effective table cause effective table cause effective table another uh, example for the upload a photo and size and uh, resolution format yeah uh, okay fine so yeah chitra uh, i think uh, i done with my side okay you have any queries to ask yeah you can